Goal. You do not rest until you achieve it, or you simply change your mind. When first obstacle, the most important principle for wealth and personal success is mastery of your thoughts. Mastery of your mind. If you manage to harmonize with this principle, you will be half the way guaranteed. This is what you can do to learn to control your mind and not surrender to the first obstacle first. Before you can control your mind to achieve your goals, you must have a clear and specific understanding of what you want to achieve. Be specific and do not generalize. For example, do not just write that you want to be rich, but what, what your net worth will be, your monthly income, and what industry you will be in. You will do too. Identify the distractions and obstacles that may get in your way and work on minimizing or eliminating them. This could include reducing time on social media, creating a distraction-free workspace, and even not sharing your goals as the other person could discourage you serve them. 3. Sometimes the mind can wander to worries about the past or the future. Practice mindfulness and focusing on the present to keep your mind focused on the tasks and actions that will take you toward your goals. 4. Use visualization positive to imagine yourself achieving your goals. Visualize the steps you must follow and how you will feel when you achieve your goals. This can help you program your subconscious and help you tune into opportunities. 5. Develop the ability to motivate yourself. Learn to use a self-affirmation, the delayed gratification and other. Techniques to keep you motivated even when facing challenges. 6. Recognize and celebrate your successes, even the smallest ones. This reinforces the feeling of achievement and motivates you to keep moving towards your bigger goals. 7. Don't be afraid of failures as they are opportunities for success. Learning analyze what went wrong, adjust your approach if necessary, and move forward with the experience gained. Remember that sometimes opportunity is disguised as failure. Following the steps and strategies to control your mind and work towards your goals can have a significant impact on your life. This will lead to greater success, emotional well-being, self-confidence, continuous personal growth, reduction of reactive decisions, clarity and focus. You just have to remember that change and progress can take time and effort, but patience and persistence. And not changing your desire at the first obstacle or key in this process. Share this video on your social network. Send it to a friend or family member on your WhatsApp or Facebook. And help us continue bringing valuable content to everyone who wants to have economic success in their lives. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to more videos. Thank you very much. And until next time. Human beings have always sought answers to the most fundamental questions of existence. Why we are here. How the universe works. There is a purpose behind everything that happens throughout history. We have turned to religion, philosophy, and science in search of these answers. And in this journey of search and discovery, the notion of divine causality has emerged as a deep reflection on the relationship between God and the law of cause and effect. Today, we are going to talk about this law in depth and how it affects your life in general. We will also talk a little about divine causality. Is a video outside of the common lessons. We do butterfly you stay until the end. We know that you'll like its information. So share it with other people and comment at the end if you liked it. Let's start. Suppose that next week you will have an interview for your dream job. You are excited, but also very anxious. How you will prepare for the meeting as the date approaches. You may start to doubt yourself and think about all the things that could go wrong during the interview. It is possible that you start to worry about being silent during the interview or saying the wrong things and that someone else will get the job they have dreamed of. However, the law of cause and effect shows that there is an equal and opposite reaction for every action. Each cause has its effect and each effect has its cause. So instead of thinking about all the things that could go wrong, you can choose to be aware that everything you send to the universe, including your thoughts, returns. That is why it is essential to always focus on what you want. In this case, you could visualize having a phenomenal interview and get the job and the salary you want when you focus on what you want and believe is possible. You emit positive energy that can influence the outcome of the interview. Negative thoughts and worry only attract more of the same. Instead, confidence and visualization of success. They can attract positive results in addition to the mindset. Practical preparation is essential. You should research the company, practice answers to common questions, and develop intelligent questions for interviewers. The more you prepare, the more confidence you will gain. You will have a good effect. But let's talk in depth about this. 
The law of cause and effect is a fundamental principle that governs the cosmos for every action. There is a reaction for every cause, there is an effect. This law is the very basis of our understanding of the natural world and the key to the functioning of many disciplines from physics to ethics. However, what happens when we introduce the divine dimension into this equation? Divine causality becomes a fascinating topic. When we consider that God, in His infinite wisdom, weaves a cosmic tapestry of cause and effect that encompasses everything from the movement of the stars to human actions. Divine causality, more insignificant. It invites us to contemplate the depth and beauty of an interconnected universe. It reminds us that our actions have an impact, that our choices matter, and that we are ultimately part of a larger fabric of cause and effect that transcends our understanding. Let's take the story of a young man named David, who in the midst of an existential crisis, makes the decision to help the homeless in his community. His actions trigger a chain of events that ultimately leads to the creation of a homeless shelter in his city in this story. Divine causality becomes evident. David's choice to act with compassion and generosity not only changes his life, but also has a positive impact on the lives of countless people. However, the notion of divine causality often clashes with the paradox of free will. How do I reconcile the idea of a divine plan with our ability to make autonomous decisions? This is where the depth of divine causality becomes even more intriguing. Imagine a mother who plants a garden. She carefully selects the seeds, places them into soil and waters them with love. The garden blooms with stunning beauty, but individual flowers have the freedom to move with the wind and grow in unexpected directions. The mother, although has established an initial plan, allows nature to take its courses. Similarly, God may have a divine plan, but also grants us the Freedom to make decisions and participate in the process of cause and effect divine causality challenges us to explore the relationship between God and the law of cause and effect on a deeper level amidst the uncertainty and complexity of existence. This reflection offers Sousa a beacon of inspiration and meaning we can ultimately find comfort in the idea that although the universe follows its own rules, it is also a reflection of divine love and wisdom. And in that understanding we find hope that each of us has a valuable role to play in this great symphony of life. We have to the universe as a book open filled with intertwined stories and interconnected destinies. Every event from the birth of a start or chance encounter on the street can be interpreted as part of a larger narrative written by the hand of God. This perspective encourages us to seek purpose and beauty in every experience. Even in the most challenging moments, the understanding divine causality also has profound implications on our ethics and responsibility if our actions have an impact that extends far beyond what we can see how we should live our lives, how we should treat others and the world around us. The notion that we are co-creators in the divine plan urges us to live with integrity and passion, recognizing that our choices have ramifications beyond our immediate understanding. Many teachers invite us to transcend our limited understanding of the world and connect with something greater than ourselves. Through this reflection, we can find, take comfort. In the idea that even in the midst of uncertainty, there is order and purpose in the universe. Divine causality reminds us that we are part of an ever-evolving cosmic story and that each of us has a vital role to play in it. Great adventure of existence and important to pick in the reflection on divine causality is the dilemma of suffering if God is behind all things and effects in the world. How dour reconcile this with human suffering? This is a complex question that has baffled philosophers and theologians. Throughout history, some interpretations suggest that human suffering can be the result of the interaction between human free will and the divine plan. In other words, God grants human beings the ability to make decisions, and these decisions can lead to painful consequences. However, divine causality also reminds us that despite suffering, there is a greater purpose and order in the universe. Although sometimes it is difficult to understand, Imagine a painter who begins a blank canvas as he paints his work, evolves according to his vision, but also allows your intuition and creativity to flow freely. Likewise, God may have a divine plan, but grants us the ability to make decisions that influence the way history unfolds. Our free will ultimately becomes an integral part of the process of cause and effect in the cosmos. As we reflect on divine causality and its relationship with the law of cause and effect, 
we realize that this idea has a profound impact on our daily lives. Every lesson we do, no matter how small, acquires a more significant nuance when we contemplate it in full view. Light of divine causality can be an act of kindness towards a stranger, a career choice, or even a decision about how to live more sustainably. All of these actions can be interpreted as conscious contributions to the endless flow of causes and effects that govern the universe. Finally, recognize that every lesson you do has an impact in your life and in the world around you. By making decisions consciously and ethically, you can align your actions with a larger purpose contributing to the divine plan. Understand that you are responsible for your actions, and there, Consequences Divine Causality reminds us that our choices are significant in a broader sense what motivates us to be responsible and considerate in our decisions. By recognizing the interconnection of all things through divine causality, you can cultivate a deeper sense of compassion and empathy towards others. You understand that your 